Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today, we're going to look at the prism and how it can form a spectrum. So, as you can see on my screen here, I've got a uh, beam of, uh, of light, and I've got a prism, and I'm just going to take my, my prism and, and put it in front of the beam and see what happens. And, um, well, we're not getting much of a, a prism a prism effect. We're not getting much of a spectrum, but those of you that are um, sharp will notice that we have uh, yellow light here, and this yellow light is monochromatic. It's only one color. So what we need to do is change that yellow light to white light. And as soon as we do that, voila, we have a beautiful spectrum produced by the prism. And of course, this is due to refraction. The white light as it enters the prism is re refracted due to the difference in density from the medium outside the prism to the medium inside the prism and then outside again and uh, because of that difference in refraction the light bends and the different colors of light bend different amounts. Now one interesting fact about this uh, bending of the of the light by a prism is you'll often see textbooks show um, and claiming this was done by uh, Isaac Newton um, using another prism to recombine the, uh, the spectrum into white light. And often you'll see this done with the two prisms separated by a, a distance with one prism uh, with one prism upside down and the other one uh, right side up. Something like this. Uh, the only problem is is it uh, it doesn't really work and you can really uh, struggle with this for a long time trying to get this to to work in the lab and uh, you'll get pretty frustrated because uh, it really doesn't work and another thing is is Newton never really did this he uh, he didn't use another prism to combine the uh, spectrum into white light again at all to recombine the spectrum uh, so that is one of those things that just got into textbooks that, that shouldn't shouldn't be there. What Newton did was he used a, a convex lens and the convex lens was placed in the uh, stream of the of the spectrum and as you can see we have a, a beautiful recombination of our spectrum into white light and that's great proof that white light really consists of all the colors of the spectrum. So thanks a lot for um, viewing this digital lesson. Just a reminder that uh, these digital lessons are often made with the help, like this one, of, of a great simulation program called Yenka, and you can download it at yenka.com.